Hi everyone. Hey guys. Hey folks. Welcome to Rob and Marvie. And um, hey, this Wednesday we aren't doing any traveling or anything like that. We're kind of hanging out in camp with a really good friend of ours, um, Miss J of Miss J Travels. Be sure to visit her site. And um, anyway, we found a some BLM land to camp at, and we decided today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to answer some questions, some common questions that people have been asking us. So um, things that I can't answer or Marvie may want to share, we're going to do those. So we've got about eight or nine questions, and that's going to be about it um, for the week. There's no test at the end, so you don't have to make notes or anything like that. But um, but you do, at the end of this video, if we have not addressed a question that you might have, why don't you put it down below in the notes and we will respond, honest engine. So we will, we will answer your questions. So um, let's go. The first one is, um, how long have you been living in the van? So... Oh, well, <laughs> couple months, couple months, so it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, uh, well, I moved in, I moved here on July 20th, 2019, bought the van after two days, and then started living in it, so I'd been living in it about eight days before Marvy did, and then marvie has been living in it since August 1st. Oh, yeah. Yeah. August 1st. Four months, no? Almost. August, yeah. September, October. No, yeah, four months. So, next question is where do you camp? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere, yeah. Any, anywhere. Everywhere. You're free. <laughs> yeah, that's a great. A lot point. of free. <laughs> great, great point. Is We don't know where we camp. Um, that's a great thing. We're free, so we might be here, and it's almost Thanksgiving. Um, we might decide to drive an hour and a half or two hours to Yuma or San Diego or Los Angeles. We really won't because gas in California is expensive. But the point is, we can live anywhere. But to answer your question, um, where do you camp? Primarily, we camp on Bureau of Land Management, uh, BLM land. It's all free. Google it. And uh, there's about 35 or 40 RVs and campers just opposite of us over here. And you can stay any of these places for two weeks at a time. And then you just have to move like 20 miles away. Oh, and 14 days. Yeah, oh yeah, you can some, stay here 14 days. days. 14 days. Yeah, and then move away and then be gone to another place for 14 days or two weeks. And then you can come back. You can actually come back after six days. So in theory, you can live for the rest of your life in only two locations if they're 20 miles apart. <laughs> But out west, there is so much BLM land, as you can see behind us, is quite beautiful. And sometimes it's close to town. We're close to Lake Havasu, yeah. which is Very only close. about six miles. Yeah. Very close. You can um, get everything. Yeah. So the next question we're going to give to Marvie, and it is, how do you cook in a van? <laughs> This is, oh, uh, well, it's, um, it's not bad. It's not bad if you buy anything, whatever you need for all week. So you can cook anything, whatever you want it. It's, it's only you can put in your stuff inside because I do not like it. Yeah, uh, the weather true. when it's in the morning for making yeah. breakfast, it's cold in the night too so um, the reason i put in everything in the kitchen or provision of my kitchen is because i like to cook i like it uh making my own dinner my breakfast uh, or i can uh hati uh, we can cook anything, just anything you can cook. No, we can't use an oven, we don't have an oven, but it, we have a stove top, so you can cook on the stove top. Um, you know, ham and eggs and grits and boil water for tea or for coffee or, or whatever we want. We can cook just like anyone else. We just can't bake a 25 pound turkey 
because we don't oh. have an oven. Oh. So the next question is, and I'm going to answer this one, is who does the cooking? Well, it really is interesting because we don't really map that out. We don't set the rules like on Tuesdays and Fridays or breakfast or whatever. Basically, as far as dinner is concerned, um, we kind of go back and forth depending on who's in the mood to cook. Marvie's going to cook spaghetti and meatballs tonight, and uh, so that's great. Um, and then I may cook something else for dinner one night if she doesn't feel up to it. Lunch is kind of a hodgepodge of if you're hungry, we may just pull out some cheese and salami, or I may just make a peanut butter sandwich if I'm going to go on a hike and she's going to do something else. So lunch is kind of a free form. Marvie does probably most of the breakfasts, and here's why. I get up like between four and five in the morning and I'm the one who starts the stove to warm up the van, make the coffee, uh, and I just put the kettle on and make all of the coffee. And then I get all the coffee ready and then I'm teaching. And so usually while I'm sitting in the front of the van teaching English, um, she gets up sometime an hour or two or three later and she makes her coffee and then she makes breakfast. So generally Marvie makes a breakfast. Um, good breakfast? <laughs> it's not bad. Marvy, <laughs> make a good breakfast. They want to know: Is it cold or hot in the van? Oh, uh, it's cool in the night. It's just a little chill in the morning, but it's cold. It's cold in the night, and I it's comfortable if you have a uh, good blanket and uh, pyjamas and cover and you you here yeah. but uh, yeah. this is not bad this is uh, so yeah. it's far with the she says it's cold at night and not cold in the morning and let's be really clear i'm the one that's waking up at 4 30 or 5 making the coffee getting the van warm so she has no idea what it's like in the morning but <laughs> no 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 but, it's, it's, yeah. no, no 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 my turn so <laughs> but we have been out so it's been like uh i think the coldest we've been in like 21 or 23 yeah, degrees and morning. that was really uh nippy yes yeah, cool. um but again you know once you get that stove cranking and the f flame a small space with two people and a dog it warms up pretty quick but at night it can be very cold as yeah. far as heat is concerned Marvie hasn't really experienced heat in the van. I did. I had eight or nine days when it was over 110 degrees, and I had nothing but a cooler filled with ice water. Um, so uh, that was very hot for me. Um, but generally, we try to regulate the temperature by moving uh, with the weather. Uh, like it was too hot in if in Las Vegas when Marvie arrived. So when she came, we went right up. Uh, to Flagstaff, Arizona, only four hours away, but about 25 degrees cooler. And then as it got colder, we moved back down here into the desert. And now you can still see it's it's a little cool. It's maybe it's little chilly right 40 now. degrees at night and maybe we're in a little bit of a cold snap. So 59 during the day with the wind, it makes it chillier. Okay, so how do you stay warm? Well, again, there's <laughs> Marvy, me, and Jackson <laughs> in a very small space under down sleeping bags and blankets, hot chocolate. Um, we might, uh, and we eat pasta uh, to stay warm. But generally, um, it takes a while to get used to being outside all the time. And you just got to get used to it and deal with it. But when the weather is a little bit more inclement, we just spend time inside. We watch iPad movies. Shows yeah. on iPad. Yeah, we Marvie, watch movies. They want to know: Is it dangerous? Um, whatever you going, is this uh, no, really not. I'm not feeling uh, like that. So, um, it's a, a little little bit when you see the snake in but two feet that you she's feel. referring to the video <laughs> called snakes on the plane 
P-L-A-I-N-S. So watch that video. That kind of explains what she's talking about, about the snakes. So, but uh, no, sometimes you can see somebody a little creepy, but this is not bother you. So it's not, it's yeah. not, it's nice uh, camping, nice uh, round people. So I do not going around talking too much with the people because I don't know, but uh, it's just not. So for me, I do not feeling like that. Yeah, and remember Marvy, uh, we're camping together and we have a dog so the element of danger isn't as pronounced although we did have one confrontation with some kind of a guy who was mentally unstable and he came kind of directly at us from out in the desert uh in very close to our van very threatening and the great thing about having a van versus towing a trailer or a camper van where you're in the back is and you'd have to go all the way outside to the van is we just you know shut the door on the guy and started the keys and, and quietly yes, left no. so yeah. you can avoid a lot of that but generally we camp around where other people are camping and, and we have not had any issues again most people think of worst case scenarios and they blow them out of proportion um, again there's two of us and a dog uh, next question, hotels, do you know how many hotels we've stayed in, in the last four months? Uh, not too many. <laughs> two. Two or three, something two, No, like not that. three, two. Okay, we count them, no. Three. Yeah, when I picked up Marvy, when she came in from the airport, she was exhausted, 11 o'clock at night, coming in from Mexico with Jackson. He was traumatized, so I had a hotel for them, and... And then the next morning we went up mm -hmm. to we went up Cupping. north, and then about three months later we had car trouble, and uh, we had to get a hotel for the night. Um, I had a very bad sinus infection, and so we left the car at the mechanics, got a hotel room, and that's it. And, and four months, a little over four months, we've only slept in a regular bed uh, uh, twice. What about showers and laundry? Good question. Well, laundry uh, is uh, wherever you going, even not too hard for going to out the you camping, but uh, uh, anywhere, anywhere you can go into laundry mat. <laughs> yeah, she, she brings up, and you know, I mean, if we're out for two weeks, we kind of go through all of our clothes and uh, maybe some that we need to wash. We may heat up some hot water and hand wash them and dry them, but generally, you know, there's laundry mats everywhere. That's really not the issue. Um, as uh, far showers the same. Well, we pay for showers, so we um well a couple things when we're out on the road and we're out for like two weeks or a week at a time uh we have a little shower tent a nylon tent and they say it's for privacy but really for me it's to stop that damn cold wind i mean when it's you know 40 degrees and the wind's blowing and you're you're naked as a jaybird and you're soaking wet, it's a little chilly. So it's really nice to have this little nylon yeah. tent you can stand up in. Yeah, I'm more private. So yeah. you can take a shower. Well, it's not really a shower. That. You you heat up water in a yeah. bucket oh, and then you have fresh wow. water and warm. She doesn't heat it up, but I do. And then you sponge <laughs> bath and rinse it off. However, we do have a gym membership to plan it, something or another. I don't want to advertise them, but... Um, it's an, uh, we, uh, the gold membership or black membership, whatever it is, it's 20 bucks a month about, and it's good for all 1,500 locations. We go in we're there. We're going anytime. Yeah, like we're in, we're in Lake, weekend. We're in Lake Havasu now, and, and uh, we go all the time, and they've got a great shower, steaming hot massage. water. Massage. Yeah, <laughs> she gets a massage because she's, uh, she's got the account, so. I'm the guest, <laughs> so I don't get the massage, but she does. So where is, the final question is, where is next? And where and next is, uh, for me, it's a studying a building inside to the band because it's cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, so what's next as far as as far as the van is we have to do a lot of work on the van we have no insulation 
Uh, we've got kind of a couple cots in there right now on a table, but we want to go ahead and do the build. We need to work on the solar end of it, and we need to get our funding, you know, our income going so that we can do all of that plus put money away as an emergency. Number one important thing is to have an emergency fund always. If you run through it, stop where you are, minimalize your travel until you can build up that emergency fund. Because if your transmission goes out and you have no money to get it fixed, you're really yeah. stuck. So that's really critical to do. And everybody, everybody knows. However, the question is where next? And <laughs> That we don't know. We have a feeling that we're going to leave here, which is in northwestern Arizona, and uh, we're going to go south as the weather gets chillier. Uh, we're going to head close to Yuma. 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 And, uh, and for a couple of reasons. One, it's warmer. It's a larger town, a larger city with uh, I think like this town now only has one Burger King and I'm really feeling I need three so <laughs> a larger town is going to be much better. No, but for resources and things the town's going to be a little bigger. If we want to go out at night and just walk around the town it gives us something to do. Again BLM land is very close by where we'll be staying at for like a week or something and then go in for the weekend and go back out. Also we're right across the border to from Mexico, Mexico and we've hey. got we can get medicine, go to the dentist, so, oh, I need my glasses. Yeah, so, and things are much cheaper in Mexico. Yes. Even so, though it's a tourist border town, and we're not used to that because we've lived in all over Mexico, away from the border. Um, so for us, a lot of it's going to be a lot more expensive than what you can get in other places in Mexico. It's still going to be a lot cheaper than what's happening in the United States. So really, after this, you're still going to follow us for another couple weeks here. And as we hang out and we get ready and Thanksgiving and, and the storm that is supposed to hit us on Thanksgiving, which is going to kill our nice cookout plans. Uh, but we're gonna I don't think so. I do something. <laughs> She's going to do something. So I think that's it for today. The main thing is we wanted to cover a couple questions that people have been common questions people ask us. Um, again, if we missed one, go ahead and write it down below. Thanks for hanging in there. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, see you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.